Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Prime time. Action packed. Adventure seeking. Thunder Chief building action. That's right, prime time baby. Prime time on a Saturday night. And you guys special. I know you guys think I've been loafing all day. And flying that for me, don't you? <laughs> I've been busy today, man. That's a busy, busy day. I have one of my old friends pop in the shop today. Give us a guest appearance. Should have made a video. Oh, Pete. That guy from them uh, old uh, movies. <laughs> he was, He's a faithful fan. He just... He ain't got a hold of me since he's been back. He had to stop by the shop today. But I got these front bulkheads cut. Now I want to get them rails, but I'll call, Paul's supposed to call me in a little bit. Give me the size of the retract so I can get that ready for when he gets here. This bad boy's going to be sitting on the wheels. All right, what else do I do today? I know you guys, you guys are thinking. I know you did more than that, Bob. That, you've been loafing all day. Well, you know, it wasn't me if I didn't have to cut them out two or three times. Look at that pile of scrap wood I got over there. What a saw. <laughs> Remember that 4x4 sheet of wood I picked up the other day? That's about a 2x2. Two two. <laughs> I'm going to need to get some more because these are all just the patterns. Okay. That ain't all we did today, people. That is not all we did today. I got to show you this. Okay. I was looking through this magazine today. And, uh, psych. <laughs> Fooled you guys, didn't I? I got that turbine mounted. I got the tailpipe mounted. I got this, uh, bulkhead down. Now, I'm going to cut this bigger and put it inside. I don't know what. A brain fart. But, uh, <laughs> I only cut one of them, so something was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the only thing I cut out once on all this wood project, but uh, I'm going to have to do that again. We need it sitting inside a little bit. That'll hide it, you know. But the pipe's the right distance. That's about where you want them pipes. And, uh, yeah, I had them things all made last night, but I had them too far forward. So guess what? I had to remake them. I thought I was on a roll. I ended up doing is taking the back out of one and putting it in the front and making a new back and uh, got it to fit but it's all perfect turbines mounted center perfect you gotta see in there bam that's what you want see that's the thrust lines perfect what it is, I jigged up the plane and got it level on the thrust line then put me uh, my level across here and measured down to the bottom of the plane that was five inches so that's where I put my rails five inches up oh good you can see in there but that's where I put my rails <coughs> five inches up so the thrust line is perfect the tube is perfect with the thrust line and uh, that looks pretty good it's a little bit lower than the duck but we got that bend so we're good to go we are good to go on that. You know, it probably could have standed to be a tad bit lower. But, oh, we'll, we'll work on that. We can adjust that until it's glued in. But all that's done. Oh, Sharp Pencil sent me some pictures today. He called me a while ago. He's been jamming people. He's got our main spar mechanism all done. He's got the gear all done. He said he was on fire today. And uh, now I just gotta clean this shop up. And uh, get ready, I gotta lay up some skins tomorrow on them wings so I can get my gear doors set in them wings right. So when we get here we can lay them set up. I'd like to have them primed and ready for when he got here. Cause he ain't going to be here long. 
but that's the story on that now Butch I was trying to explain something to you earlier I could just probably just be able to show you here you see how our ducks it's not much but if we go straight down from this line onto here can you, can you see that? I'm trying to explain to you something okay that's straight down that bulkhead's right here this has to be down to this size right here and plus I need to carve out for that wheel just a little bit so I'm going to shave this down and have it come to four inches which is only that much right there because if I don't I'm trying to explain this to you on the phone if I don't we're going to have to cut these out this hole out more and uh, we don't want to do that because right there is where that goes and uh, tried to do it all as close as I could I think I got it about right y'all seen that <laughs> but that where I came up with that line this is the piece the rib that fits right on the edge of the wing okay but my main spar goes right here right up against this the aluminum one okay and this fits perfect in that mold I mean just perfect so I put that in there pull it away the distance of the thick skin and stuff and drew me a line straight down and that's where I got to put that bulkhead so that's why we got to come to four inches we got to come to four inches just a little bit sooner which is this it ain't much I just gotta get that round there maybe even take this chunk out because I'm gonna have to do some shortening because uh, my, the pipe I already got that pipe and we can't shorten it that's a $250 pipe plus uh, that's a good spot for that turbine and everything right there you know so we'll know more. Nothing's getting glued in until everything's fit. But once we get my wings on, and these, someone asked me how I was going to get these in the plane. Well, I'm going to mold them in three chunks. See, they're just taped together now. And then these two will go together. Then this one will go over the end. I'm going to put a flanged end on this end right here. And this one will come out round. And these two will go together. They'll go right in the sides one at a time. Put that one in, put that one in, go in the center, put this one on, bam, piece of cake, simple. And if I shorten this up, I'll probably fill a little bit in here. But that's okay because my tanks, let me show you my gas tanks. Now I have two tanks right here. I have these two tanks. I have two of them identical to that and see so I can fill that a little bit and get away with it if I need to that's if it pinches it down too much when I go to four inches right here see that's what I was talking about with that it's hard to I love these videos I can show you guys in Texas what I'm talking about <laughs> sure helps these group builds go along but uh Man, I tell you guys what, I'm about tired of cutting bulkheads. <laughs> oh, and uh, my scrap pile is just way too big. But, like I said before, we don't need that sissy cab machine. <laughs> this is, you know, that would have made it nice, man. Just to go in there and hit print and have all these printed, you know. But this is just to show you guys that anyone can do this. You don't need that fancy computer book learning stuff <laughs> all you need is some cardboard and some scissors and a little extra time and you'll get it just like I did you've seen it right here so thanks for tuning in everybody we'll be back tomorrow it's gonna be a exciting week don't miss out we're gonna have some special guests and we'll see you back in the shop same Bob time 
saying Bob Station.